Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Build a Phantom Fight. The Summer Series Singles Tournament continues right here on Multiplex Entertainment. This is going to be a good one. I am your host, the King Caleb Coho, and we have a battle of two big personalities, the Irishman and the Arsonist, going at it today. This is a this is a, two guys that I think actually have a lot more in common than we would think. Uh, so this is going to be a really interesting one. Uh, Co-hosting this match with me today, Kane the Hurricane McMillan. How are you doing, Kane? I am doing fantastic. I just got off work. You know, there's thunderstorm warnings, there's tornado warnings, so it's a great, great day. You know, but this tournament, it's turning out great. We have knockouts, we have sudden death. It's just, it's turning out to be a really cool tournament, and I feel like this is going to be another match that's going to go into one of the classics. Absolutely. With that, we got two guys who can talk to talk. We're going to let hear what they have to say right now in front of us. You guys know what Multiplex is missing right now? Multiplex is missing strong leadership in factions. You know who's got a strong leadership, strong motivational qualities in them that can keep a large group of people focused? Me. You know who can't fucking do that? Nico Suave Rigoli. I don't know why this man is allowed a fact. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Coho, give me a fucking faction. Now. I fucking deserve one. I'm one of the better players you have. You can fucking see from the stats. I carry my fucking team. I won't carry my fucking faction. We'll grow together. We'll build together. Now I got to take on this fucking chucklehead. This fucking guy right here. Douglas, I fucking see ya. And before I start in on you, Koha, what the fuck was with that too big personalities bullshit with the big old pause right there just because we're a little on the chonkier side? That's fucked up bro <clears throat> so douglas i respect the fuck out of you you're a brother you're a part of the brotherhood without banners i can't wait to see you back on the fucking show but you've had an easy road to get to the seventh seed we'll play that game and when you lose we can both get the fucking game of thrones season finale spoilers oh i'm sorry it's my turn to talk oh okay all right uh yeah no hold up kill Fuck you for saying big guys and pausing. I'll, I'll agree with Jay there. Fuck that shit. Yeah, I'm a big guy, but I'm fluffy and people like it and they like to cuddle with me. So there. Anyway, let's get back to this bullshit at hand. Jay saying that I just walked into this easy peasy. Well, guess what? I was a rookie in the league and I came in and hit with two haymakers. I don't care what people say. I still won and I'm going to win today. That's what it's got to come down to. The Irishman is here to stay. All righty. I love being the center of promos that I'm not playing in. Uh, but Jay and Douglas uh, both throwing their uh, their words around. Um, you know, Jay, you don't have a faction because you didn't get your paperwork in on time. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's on you. Agree. That's on you. That's on you. Why are you coming at me with that? But uh, it's, it's going to be a great match with these two. Both had a lot to say. Um, and yeah, but with that, I think we can get to the proper introductions. Introducing first, coming to the ring with a record of one win and two defeats, representing the Neighborhood Watch Alliance, he is the arsonist, Jay Bird. <laughs> and his opponent, coming to the ring with a record of two wins and zero defeats, he is the Irishman, Douglas Castle. All right, gentlemen, you've both been here before. Round number one works like this. You're going to get 10 questions worth one point apiece from 10 different areas within the realm of fandom. But if all 10 questions correct, you'll be issued a bonus question. You have three repeats and a challenge rule of the match. Any questions? I'll get into round number one. All right, gentlemen, your first question in round number one comes in the category of the MCU, MCU Marvel Cinematic Universe. Who kills the character Korath? Gotta love the MCU. Um, I really enjoy these movies. Uh, yeah. Excited for those Disney Plus shows. Me too, actually. I'm not going to lie. Some of those sound really cool. Yeah, like WandaVision. Well, I was thinking more like Loki, but yeah. Four, three... Two, one. Markers down. All right, we're gonna start with Doug. I don't got anything. And Jay. I said a name. Uh, Yondu. That is also incorrect. Looking for Drax. Drax. Mm. Uh, no problem right, no here today. Uh, next question is in DC. 
What year saw the release of the film Return of Swamp Thing? Return of Swamp Thing. That's that's a is that the movie where Swamp Thing returns? Actually, common misconception: Swamp Thing does not return in the film. Some low budget creature does. Five. Uh, So you mean Swamp Thing? Swamp Thing had a bigger budget than that. Markers down. All right, we'll go to Jay. Uh, We're living in it today, y'all. I said 1984. That is incorrect. And Doug? I went a decade later and went 1994. Also correct. We're looking for the year that also has the film Batman, 1989. 1989. Uh, Okay. All right, your third question comes from the sister category of Worlds of DC, formerly the DCEU. We're doing such a great job, Doug. Which member... Which member of the Justice League has appeared in the least amount of films? And we will not accept Caleb Gaho because he has never been a member of the Justice League. I, I one can hope. Okay, one can have dreams. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'll don a, a King Lantern ring and just show up uh, and do like a, a King Four, Lantern ring. Yeah. Three. To boo. purple and gold, oh, boo Mark this man. Down. All right, we'll go to you, Douglas. Cyborg, that is correct. And Jay, Seaborch, that is also correct. Both on the both on the board. Oh All shit! Right. Your next question is in Pixar. What is the name of the bird who helps Marlin and Nemo get inside the Marine Life Institute in Finding Dory? I don't love this movie, but I like this character. Yeah, um, I don't love Caleb Coho, and I definitely don't like Caleb Coho. That's a very fair assessment. <laughs> you just I mean, the dude likes Tron Legacy. What's wrong with him? Three, two, one. Have you seen his MCU? It's terrible. Oof, it's not that bad. Yikes. Okay, we'll go to Jay. Uh, I wrote down the name of what I think is a Bort, uh, Nigel. That is incorrect, and Doug. Uh, yeah, totally, because I have no clue who he is. Sal. Also mm. correct. Looking for Becky. Becky is eating a cup. <laughs> Becky is eating a cup. Oh, God, that's right. <laughs> All right, your fifth question of the round comes in the category of Middle Earth. Middle Earth. In The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies, when we first see Gandalf, someone tells him that he is not alone. Who is that person? Caleb. Yeah. You are alone. I am alone a lot of the time. It's not fun. Five, four, three, two, one. Mark is down. All right, we'll go to Douglas. I just said a random character, Legolas. That is incorrect. What would Jay? Galadriel? That is correct, and Jay takes the lead. The tie has finally ended, and we go to the next question, which is in Fast and Furious. What team leader is revealed to be stealing the money from the trucks in The Fast and the Furious? This first movie is pretty good. I think it's the better version of Point Break. Okay. Is this is this the original? The Fast and the Furious. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, Pez. Now we'll go to Jay. Dom, I don't know. That's correct. And we'll go to Douglas. Dom. That is correct. Jay maintains the one-point lead as we get into the seventh question, which comes in the category of Disney live action. Pirates of the Caribbean. The Kingdom of Andalasia is a setting in what Disney live action film? I was really hoping you would just uh, on the fly change it to a Pirates of the Caribbean question. I almost did. I almost asked them like a three point pirates question just to piss them off. No. It wouldn't have pissed me off. <laughs> I helped you study for that fucking random match. Can I get a repeat? You're not wrong. All right, for Douglas's first repeat. All right. The Kingdom of Andalasia is a setting in what Disney live action film? All that training and it didn't even pay off because you still lost. <laughs> In sudden death, I'm so. You're the only reason I know what Barbosa's first name is. You're right. Mark her sound. We will go to Douglas. Cinderella. That is incorrect. And Jay. Beauty and the Beast. That is also correct. Looking for Enchanted. Enchanted. (laughs) I keep forgetting that's a Disney movie. 
Ah. Josh McCook is in that. <laughs> Josh McCook is. is in that. He is? What? Yes, I'm he is. A, uh, uh, Wizarding World is in your next category. What country did the Weasleys travel to before going back to Hogwarts in The Prisoner of Azkaban? Jay had his marker on the board before you even finished the question. And that is insane. If there's anyone that I think can like hang in Wizarding World as much as anyone else, I think Jay is one of the people that can hang in Wizarding World as much as anyone. Definitely not you. Five. You're right. Yikes. Four. Three, two, one. Markers down. All right, we'll go ahead. We'll go to Jay Burns. Uh, it's Egypt, bitch, but technically it's Africa. That's correct, and Doug. Yep, nope, got it wrong. I mean, Egypt is, uh, Egypt is a country, and uh, Africa is a continent, so. Uh, yeah. Egypt is in Africa. <laughs> okay, you're penultimate you question. Penultimate question, is, the penultimate question of the round. This isn't, is Shanghai a part of China? Penultimate question of the round comes in the newly minted category of Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Call back to an old man. Who is the first person we see die from the T Rex in the Lost World Jurassic Park? We will accept just the first name if you can pull it. But if you want to show off and give us full name, that's cool too. Yeah, you know, you really do love these movies, and they're pretty good. Two of them are pretty trash. I'm curious on which two. Five. I would say Four. this film in question and Jurassic Park 3. One. Jurassic Park 3 is fun. It's trash. All right, we'll go to Douglas. Yeah, I don't remember that part, so cool. Harry. That's incorrect, and Jay. John. <laughs> also correct. Looking for Eddie Carr. Eddie Carr. All right, your final question in round number one is, when Shrek, Fiona, and Donkey leave the swamp, Donkey starts to sing a song from what famous movie in Shrek 2? Um, which is the better film, Shrek on VHS or Shrek 2? Shrek 2. Uh, we here at the Kingdom believe that it is Shrek on VHS. And uh, you should stop sucking Jim's dick. Five, four, three... Two, one. Markers down. So we with Jay. Saturday Night Fever. That's incorrect. And Doug. Nine to five. Also incorrect. Looking for the Blues Brothers. The Blues Brothers. Rawhide. Rawhide. All right. The end of round number one. Jay holds the lead four to two as we get to round number two, which works like this. You're each going to get a chance to spin from the lovely wheel from wheeldecide.com. If you like the category I land on, you're going to get five questions worth two points apiece. You can go to multiple choice, but it defaults to the point down to being only worth one Point. You can't spin again, but you are stuck with whatever you land on the second time. Both of you have two repeats remaining. Jay, you're in lead. Your categories on the wheel are Wizarding World, Star Wars, MCU, Worlds of DC, Fandom Quotes, Pixar, Disney Live Action, and Jurassic Park. Would you like to go first or defer to Douglas? Mm, there's nothing I'm really afraid of on that wheel. I'll let Doug go first. All right. Douglas, you'll be going first. Your spin is away. I love the purple and green, though. Lands on... Worlds of DC, would you like to keep it or spin again? I'll take it. All I can. I will be asking all the round two questions. And your first question in the category of Worlds of DC is, who plays Colonel Nathan Hardy in Man of Steel? Uh, multiple choice. All right. Is it A, Richard Schiff, B, Harry Lennox, C, Christopher Maloney, or D, Jeremy Piven? Is it B? You said B as in boy? B as in boy. That is incorrect. J for one point steal. Uh, can I hear the options one more time, please? Yes. Is it A, Richard Schiff, B, Harry Lennox, C, Christopher Maloney, or D, Jeremy Piven? Okay. I'm going to say A. Richard Schiff is incorrect. We're looking from, for uh, Law and Orders himself, Christopher Maloney. Oh, I thought he was a cargo master. Okay. All right. The next question is, in Batman v Superman, Senator Finch tries to stop Lex from importing what? I think I know what it is, but multiple choice. All right. Your multiple choices options are A, bombs, B, Zod's body, C, a sword, or D, kryptonite. Zod's body. That is incorrect. J for a one point steal. Kryptonite. Kryptonite is correct for one point. All right. 
Douglas. Found in the Indian Ocean. That is also correct. All right, Douglas, your next question is, what author does Arthur Curry quote during his opening narration of Aquaman? Multiple choice. All right, is it A, H.G. Wells, B, Alexander Dumas, C, Robert Louis Stevenson, or D, Jules Verne? A. You said A? Yeah. That is incorrect. J for a one point steal. Jules Verne. That is correct for a point. All right, Douglas, your penultimate question in Worlds of DC is How many people were kidnapped and taken under Gotham's harbor to be interrogated in Justice League by Steppenwolf? Multiple choice. All right, is it A, 5, B, 9, C, 13, or D, 16? 13. That is incorrect. J for a one point steal. Nine. That is correct for one point. <laughs> and your final question is which member of the Suicide Squad fights Enchantress's brother at the end of the film? El Diablo. That is correct for two points. Good pull. Big two points. Good pull. All right. So with that, J, the score is now seven, uh, seven to four. You can get just a spin from the wheel now. Spin is away. It lands on Jurassic Park, which I'll keep it or spin again. Mm, you know what? Let's let's give it one more go. Okay. A man who is not scared of anything. It lands on Wizarding World. Yes. Okay, I will I will not vote for wheeldecide.com to be heel of the year this year. Uh, so far. <laughs> All right, your first question in Wizarding World is, what type of aquatic creature did Newt ride in Fantastic What type of aquatic creature did Newt ride on in Fantastic Beasts: The Crimes of Grindelwald? A kelpie. Holy fuck, who knows that shit? Yes, that's correct. Two points. <laughs> All right. Your next question is, what spell does Harry use to send up red sparks with his wand in The Goblet of Fire? Multiple choice. Awesome. Is it A, Pericolum, B, Ascendio, C, Solum, or D, Mors Mordre? I hope I butchered at least half of that. Can somebody with a little bit more proficiency give me those options one more time? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, <laughs> I know. Can, can, you, can you say them one more again? Yes. Uh, is that, will that count as a repeat? No. Okay. All right, is it A, Pericolum, P-E-R-I-C-U-L-U-M, B, Ascendium, C, Solum, S-O-L-E-M, or D, Morris Mordre? I'm going to say A. That is correct for a point. I can't pronounce it. At least I'll try to spell, uh, spell it out. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, next question is, who plays Minister Rufus Scrimgeour in Deathly Hollows Part uh, 1? Scrimgower, Bill Nighy. That is correct. And I'm still butchering names. I'm like Tim Smith today. This is great. All right. Your next question is, which magical practice does Snape try to teach Harry in Order of the Phoenix? Uh, Legilimens. That is incorrect. Douglas for two points, too. Uh, I thank you. I can't not even a guess. We were looking for Oc Oculumency. It's Oculumency, but there there are two different there are two different schools. There's Oculumency and then there's Legilimency. That's the. Would thing. you like to challenge? Yes, I will throw my challenge out there. So after that challenge, and we brought in the Fanified Singles and Team Champion Robert the Hobbit Parker to clarify the question, he said that Aquamancy is something that you defend against Legilimens. I believe that is what he said. I don't know. It's a lot of big words that I don't really understand. I feel like they're made up. So with that being said, we cannot award Jay the two points, but we will give you your next question, Jay. Awesome. All right. Last question is, what character finds Harry injured on the train in the Half-Blood Prince? 
I believe her first words to him are Watcher. That would be Nymphadora Tonks. That is incorrect. Douglas, for a chance for two points. Still. That's the books. Wow. Is it? I forget, so I'm going to go with Luna. That is correct for two points. Oh, oh, big two oh, points. Oh, great, oh, pull, oh, boy. great pull, boy. Great pull, boy. Very important two point pull. With that pull, Douglas avoids the knockout. Well, he 12, anyway, so. yeah, but 12 to 6 going into round number three, which works like this. This is the betting round. And it works like this. We're going to give you a category. You're going to tell us how many points you'd like to bet between zero and two points. If you get the question right, you will gain those points. If you get the question wrong, you will lose those points. We go until someone's mathematically eliminated or the score reaches zero. Any questions as we get into round number three? What are the categories? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, well, well. All right. Your first category they can bet points on is Disney animation. How many points are you going to bet on Disney animation? I feel like this always comes up for Jay in round three. And I swear, no, at least it's not the last question. True, but like I don't think you've ever played a match where Disney animation isn't in round three. I'm gonna be pissed if I know the answer to this question too. All right, that's shadowing what he's betting. All right, we'll go to Doug. What are you betting? Two. And Jay. Shadow. All right, your question in Disney animation. I will play along for stats purposes. Thank you for asking. Of course you will. When Bolt agrees to hear the pigeons' aliens idea, they say. Not to blow it like they did with whom in the film Bolt. <laughs> Bolt be is a movie that I've seen once. I'm going to be pissed if I got this right and I bet zero points. <laughs> Can I have a question for you? Yes. Why do you like Bolt? I don't. It's called I Was Trying to Study. And I have, it's on Netflix. Five. Fair four. I don't like John Travolta three. movies. Too. That's fair. Yeah, I'm not Miley big... Cyrus movies. All right, we'll go to Douglas. Yeah, cool. Uh, this was fun. The cats. That is incorrect. And Jay Lassie is also incorrect. Looking it... for Nemo. Nemo. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, I was hoping it would be Airbud. <laughs> All right. Your next question is in the category of DC. DC Comics. Score check. And it's currently uh, 4 to 12. 12 foot. All right. Can we get those bets? We'll start with uh, Doug. Two. Two. And Jay. Jay. Zero. Zero. I'm playing it uh, smart today, y'all. All right, Doug. You're, and Jay. Your guys' first gotcha. question in DC is... What is the last non-Worlds of DC live-action DC film? What is the last non-Worlds of DC live-action DC film? A lot to of date. worlds. To date. To date. Because there is one. Coming. You're right. But we don't ask about movies until they're released on digital. You're right. We're, we're but we better be doing that Disney exhibition. All right. Douglas is using his second repeat, and the question is, what is the last non-Worlds of DC live-action Film. What is I keep stumbling. What is the last non Worlds of DC live action DC film? Like any DC property? That's not a part of the Worlds of DC. Yep. And is live action. Okay. All right. Five, four, three, Robert left, two, one, markers down. We'll start with J. Eastern Promises? No. No. And. Douglas. Because I'm an idiot. Shazam. Also not correct. We're looking for Red 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, Easter Promises is not a DC film. I thought it was. Nope. What's the one I'm thinking of? You're thinking of a history of violence. I am thinking of a history of violence. <laughs> Both have Vigo, so you're not wrong. Fair enough. You're not completely off. Uh, so this is 12 to 2. Yep. Is there still a chance? Uh, 12 point swing. Okay, okay. All right, so. Your third question comes to the category of scores and soundtracks. How many points would you like to bet on scores and soundtracks? We must bring back the Jim and Nico rule. If a competitor hits zero, the game will be over. Well, yeah, it's true. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Give well, me one right. second. Hold on. Five, four, three. Two, 
one. That starting with Jay. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> okay, and Doug. Uh, I said two, and good luck, Jay, in the tournament. I right, appreciate you, buddy. All right, and your question is scores the soundtracks. Finish the lyrics to the song Let's Go Fly a Kite from Mary Poppins. You can dance on the breeze over houses and trees with your fist holding tight. Five words. Sure, why not? Let's uh, repeat that question. All right, that is Douglas's last repeat of the match. Finish the lyrics to the song Let's Go Fly a Kite from Mary Poppins. You can dance on the breeze over houses and trees with your fist holding tight. Five words. You know, both times, I just wanted to finish what the song was. That's fair enough. It's a great song. And a movie that you're like, meh. I don't love the movie. I just don't. And people don't love you. That's okay. That's Five, true. Four. Uh, I don't. I don't love this movie, Chick Pardue. One. That's true. People do love Chick Pardue. So. I don't love Chick Pardue. We'll go to Doug. Yeah, I got you. Uh, a bouquet of beautiful flowers. And Jay. Let's go fly a kite, bitch! <laughs> and your winner! Advancing to the next round of the Summer Series Tournament, the arsonist, Jay Bird! The answer was to the string of your kite. To the string of your kite. What a match, Kane. What a match. <laughs> You know, I, the string <laughs> to your kites. This is the first time, I believe, that Jay the Arsonist Burns ends the match on a Disney question involving a song, but this time he's on the other end of the match. So I think he's excited about that, and I think he showed up. He showed up today. Um, he had a pretty good round two sometime, and he knew a little bit too much on some of those questions, which kind of stumped him. Um, maybe next time you should learn reading is bad for you. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Douglas, uh, he goes to 2-1. and one. He still has a good record, so we'll probably see him post-tournament. But Jay has finally moved up into the Sweet 16, and I bet he's excited. I don't really know who he plays next, and I made the bracket. so That's true. Um, we do have options. We do have options. He could be facing someone from your faction or someone from Night Fury, and we'll leave it at that. Uh, but we'll go into some post-match interviews, starting with our winner, Jay the Arsonist Burns. You are now 2-2. Two and two. You've hit that 500 record, and you're in the Sweet 16 of the tournament. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, I feel like I deserve a fucking faction that's legitimized, not just illegitimately out here running the streets like we're branding people with NWA like Batman did in, uh, you know, Dawn of Justice, the good cut. Not the bad one, but uh, let's let's talk about bad cuts today. Doug Castle had bad cuts today. He just couldn't pull it together. I told you at the beginning of this match that I was here to handle fucking business. And what did I do? I came, I handled fucking business. I stole a majority of his points. I answered more than he did correctly. And I didn't have to answer or bet a single fucking point in the third round, which is surprising. But. I told you that I would walk in here. I told you that I would make an Irish king bleed. Now, we know that it's not just going to stop when he hits menopause. We're here. NWA's going to be a fucking faction at the end of this. Because if I don't get to fucking play Nico for the right to actually keep a fucking faction or create a faction, I will live up to my name and I will burn this bitch to the ground like I'm listening to Yamo be here one more time. Uh, well... I can't say anything about the faction. You, I can't say anything because you don't... Give you me my faction! Turn in your paperwork! Ask but, me vocally! Okay, but with that, you're in the Sweet 16 of the tournament with the potential to be facing one of these two competitors. Richard uh, Schwartz and Jeremy Paul Adams? No. Ah. Unfortunately, other side of the bracket. Damn. But you have the potential to be facing either one half of the fandom team champions, Tim the Hulk Bracala, or House Night Fury's very own nasty Adonis Nazario. Who would you rather face in the next round? 
I'm not scared of either one of them. I've beaten Tim the Hulk Burkala in an MCU Iron Man match. I'm okay with that. Adonis can't show up. When he shows up, he's not there. So um, <laughs> either way, it's a fucking... I'm, uh, uh, to, to quote a mob boss from a, what I consider an underrated movie, The Boondock Saints, I'm going to tiptoe through the tulips with these motherfuckers. I'm going to beat the shit out of either one of these people that you put in front of me. I can't wait to see where we go with this. Fuck them both. That being said, they're very nice people from what I've seen. Um, all right. Well, uh, we'll see who you play. Uh, but yeah, congratulations on making it to the Sweet 16. Thank you. Um, Don't doubt me again. And we do have also have you in the NWA in the team tournament playing Team 80s in round one. How do you feel about playing Night Fury in round one there, too? Look, that's going to be a monumental task. Everybody knows I bring it up as fucking much as possible. My very first fandom match was against Sandy the Sandman Robinson. I didn't answer a single question in the first round, and I still took him to the last question. I expect it of myself. I expect it of Richard Schwartz, my NWA brother in arms, to bring them to the brink. And if we lose, we lose. But we'll take it to the last question. And we'll lose like gracious individuals. You know why? Because I'm a fucking mouthpiece, but I know what to say and when to say it. And Team 80s deserves nothing but respect. Fuck Nico, give me my own faction. All right. Well, with that, we will see you in this week 16. We will go over to our unfortunate loser today, Douglas Castle. You take your first loss here in the round one of the tournament, unfortunately, getting eliminated. How do you feel about your performance today? I done fucked up. That's, that's yeah, you all, did. <laughs> that's all I can say. Um, there is nothing. I mean, I got too cocky thinking I knew about World of DC as much as I do. And that's what my downfall was. Um, other than that, fuck that shit. I'll be back. I mean, I got a two-in-one record. I don't give a, That's That's plenty good for me right now. I'll come back, and I'll do some things, and I'll study. And uh, who knows, maybe some people that I'm working with, with some other people that I'm working with, will come forward and show some people some stuff. Hey, Doug. Hey, Jay. Do you want to play for the greater good? Do you want to join a faction that isn't technically legitimate right now, but still has the ability to take on everybody, including the Fellowship? Because if you do, the NWA's got a spot for you, brother. Just adds a little bit more legitimacy to it. Plus, that means that you get this little fuck boy who likes to wear a plastic crown off your back for a little bit. And just remember, he's the one who poked fun at both of our weights. So if you join up with me and everybody else in the NWA, we can stick it to the fucking man. I'm going to have to sleep on that. I'll have my people get in contact with your people. Sounds fun. All right. All right. Well, um, Doug just joined up with Jay, I guess, maybe. Uh, I don't know. But, but Jay's... Oh, fuck me. What do you want? It's this fucking guy. Um, somebody want to run down uh, what you said about my client? I didn't say anything about your client. I said something about your faction, but I didn't say anything disparaging about your faction. Uh, so you, you if, wanna, if you're you going to jump a, in and try to right now, uh, uh, let's have a conversation right now. Let's, let's uh, go ahead. You and me. <laughs> oh, you're gonna... oh, you're talking about Tim. Yeah. Tim's already been beat, bro. There ain't, there ain't nothing about that. Tim's already been beat. You can go back and watch the tape. It's, it's legitimate. He lost to me who also lost to Eli McKegg, but he didn't score more points than me. So I'm I'm confused. Is this is this Jay? The most mediocre player in this community? The guy that barely mm, mediocre, can but can, mediocre but can mediocre but can still beat your still beat one of the people that's the best in your faction? 
mm, I don't know if I'm mediocre because if I'm mediocre, you what's know what? that? What's hold that on. mean? Hold on. No, 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 hold no, no, no. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. Make a wish gives out wishes all the time. Make yeah, a this wish ain't, ain't John Cena, bro. Yeah, you got gifted a win if you happen to win. Congratulations. Oh, I got gifted oh. that win. That's why he was down by more than fucking four points. Okay, yeah, I got gifted that win. When's the last time you won a fandom match? Tonight? Is this it? Is this your big moment? Oh, I'm sorry. How how long does it take to get these matches scheduled? It's not my fault that one oh, match happens every oh, six months for people. Oh, oh, yeah. oh look what? I don't know. What, look, look at my record. record. I'm even, bro. I'm batting 500 right now. What's congrats, it matter? Congrats. Congrats. What's it matter? 500, and you pick you pick lame people to roll with. You think you're building a faction of all mm. these new people? Because oh, you're the kid oh yeah, I pick lame goes people, people to roll with. See, that's just it. Them really lames, terrible. as you you're call really them. You're terrible at this because you don't allow people to talk. My main viewpoint is you go around from the tables at the lunchroom and pick up the people sitting by themselves and say, "Guess what? You can play with me because no one else wants you." And congratulations, you can talk crap on all my factions, but when you can even come close to sniffing a belt, then you can talk trash. You and Rich, you're the one who had to jump. To talk all this a, shit. You could you and Richard Schwartz as a team could not finish a fandom match if you had your life depending on it. Uh, you're you still the one who had to fear. jump in and say some shit. Because you you I didn't say I didn't call uh, I mean, out your team action. Because guess what? I didn't call I didn't, out yours either. All I stated was a fact. You are a you were I didn't even know you were on the radar. Mm. I didn't even know you were available. That's I didn't okay. Even know you were in the tournament. I thought they didn't allow people with such negative records into the tournament. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I am not Ryan Premison. Who's your wins over? I'm not Ryan Premison. Uh, I'm I'm one of my wins is over one of the people who knocked Ryan Premison out of this entire match. So or out of this entire uh, thing, forced him to retire. Okay. So let's let's let let's there, not Jake. go there. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Bye, Cody. It was good beat, to see you, buddy. You beat. Seven it was good Douglas to see you, buddy. Castle, and we'll see if you can. Whoa, seven points. It, was, it was good. He had zero my points. Second, he had zero, zero points. points. Thank you very first much. All, first of second all, my second bye, match Cody. was great. First of all, my second match was great. So get that seven points out of here. Uh, so your average is seven points now. Congratulations! <laughs> it's not seven go. points. Oh, good job for you. You can <laughs> count maybe two okay. matches. Count oh, okay. Bro, King's right. blood. King's right. blood. Yeah, How King's good. blood. I've won, Absolutely. I've, I've Why enough you That's face? enough. That's enough. That's Bye, enough. Cody. Oh, shit, I get. get out of here. Go. Go sit down. All right. Um. Wow. All right. A lot of shit talk. And maybe, maybe Jay gets a faction. We have a set limit on factions. We'll t we'll, I don't know what's happening. Kay, what are your thoughts on this match? I don't fucking know, dude. All I know is Jay's calling out Brother Tim. Apparently he forgot that Brother Tim was the MVP in that uh, championship team match. I don't really know. I mean, J Jay beat Hunter and JD and a guy who scored zero points. You should lower the ego down, because then you start to be like Caleb Cole. But that's my opinion. Um, I don't wear shitty plastic crowns. I take offense to that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Caleb, this has been a match. This tournament's weird. It's weird. We have um, we have technically our first upset of the tournament where the lower seed beat the upper the higher seed. So this is technically the first upset <laughs> of the tournament on the books. <laughs> so this is cool. Uh, but with that. This has been Fandom Fight, and we'll go ahead and we'll wrap this one up uh, from Jay, from Douglas, from Kane, from Cody, and Robert, who showed up here this match. I have been Caleb, and this has been Fandom Fight. We will see you guys very soon.